Hello everyone, I'm going to be discussing some story bound uh, sort of spoilers, so if you haven't discovered certain things, please click away from this video so I don't spoil it for you. So uh, yeah, you've been warned, okay? I'll give you a few seconds to get the hell out of here, and I will uh, see you in the next one, okay? So, with you, Scott, the people who have uh, don't want spoilers have gone, let's discuss these powers. So from the video title, it's probably already been spoiled to you, but I'm pretty sure you've probably seen a million TikToks with all these powers and stuff. So I personally want to talk about the just how they're sort of incorporated into the game. So let's start off with that. So you detect some odd, you know, anomalies that match the artifacts and you head to these temples. You land on the planet in a anomaly, a scanner anomaly. You land and you search for it. You use your scanner to detect like slight frequencies, you know, like a sort of an issue with the scanner. It starts like malfunctioning and that's the direction you have to travel in to get to the uh, to the temple. So once you arrive at the temple, you see this cool looking structure. You go into it and then, you know, gravity turns off. You get this disc that's spinning and you get these uh, lights that just appear and spin. And then you've got to go through these lights in order to power up the discs, then you get granted a power. Now there are 24 powers in the game, and you will lock them certain different ways, uh, but I've got to say, the implementation, um, you know, just how these powers are sort of introduced to you, is so, it's crap. <laughs> in all honesty, it's crap. There's no dungeon, there's no... Oh, you've got to go through here, solve this puzzle, or hey, you got to fight this boss, or hey, you can find etchings of this ancient uh, civilization who left these things here. There's some mystery to these temples, and you can unveil it by looking and researching and, you know, talking maybe to starborn sort of phantoms that don't shoot you, or you can fight starborn... Uh, you know, sort of aspects, and once you destroy them, a phantom appears, and they're like, hey, I, you know, I could teach you my powers, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gone from this world now, and I'm a ghost, I'm a phantom within this temple, I'm going to teach you how to be stronger, so maybe in the next one, you know, we don't get defeated as easily by things, you know, because, you know, the infinite addendum you know uh, kind of thing you know just playing with the story a little bit more and like that could have that might have been you who was in the temple and you killed that you killed a version of you and you know you didn't have this power and then the phantom that was you it might not you know you maybe you know maybe they don't want to say it's you but maybe the phantom can be a bit elusive and like you've managed to best me in this universe he is my power. He is a way to get further within uh, the unity, within this world, to face whatever is made these things, to discover what this is all about. Where does this lead? Where do all these powers lead? And, you know, and it's just, you know, it could have been so much better. There could have been, like, puzzles, and there could have been, like, uh, lore and stuff about the Starborn, maybe a you know, even though there is factions, like, you know, you've got the Lone Hunter and stuff, and they have the Emissary, maybe the Emissary has different allies, you know, maybe there's different factions within the Starboard, I know they're sort of individual driven, but maybe some come together, you know, so it's just like, and create things, and then maybe you get like little hints from like who actually created the temples, and who actually created the artifacts, you get little things left behind, little meanings, and the phantoms within the temples, within the dungeons and stuff, could uh you know test you oh it could all be a test like in skyrim it's just amazing how much potential there could have been and such an afterthought that these powers were it's just terrible it's utterly trash and i hate saying that but i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it is terrible and the fact that they're not got their own individual favorites menu and how they're implemented within gameplay you have to go, so if you don't have them favourites, so, so if you you enjoy your guns, so you have like, you know, quite a few guns on your person, you you uh, <laughs> you have to go into the menu and manually select a power and change it out if you want to use different powers. There's no other way. 
And I feel like that implementation of these powers was such a last minute thought. And it really annoys me how old this feels. They have, you have to go into a menu, select a spell, and there you go. Whereas you should have had a few more, you know, uh, maybe like make the grenade button a hold button for a grenade. So if you hold it, you get, um, you know, the uh, sort of A, Y, B and A. A appear. So if you hold L button for, you know, maybe um, three seconds, you know, the left bumper for three seconds or another key uh, for the grenade button, uh, the X, Y and B and A button pops up in a little dial and then you can either use your powers and within the, you know, where you find the powers menu, you can select them to X, Y, B and A. So you can do that and imagine if you could do that, you could just hold the grenade button. Yes, it will go like clink. You get ready to throw a grenade if you've got one equipped. But then you have the choice to either use your, you know, slow time power, use your oxygen power to, you know, have your personal atmosphere to clone yourself or to turn invisible. It's just like, how how did not someone think about this? And I got to say, I think it's because there was there is something wrong with the production of this game. And I pretty sure that it kind of got lost within and it might have again you might blame covid you know the pandemic and stuff but at the same time you have you bethesda is known for like you know they they make good systems and stuff but i feel it, it even it, it could be an engine limitation which is another terrible thing but there is so much inspiration out there and how you you know, there's people that, like, they make the SKSE, you know, the Skyrim Script Extender, the Fallout uh, Script Extender, and then there's the Starfield one. How the heck do you not look at what they've done and go, hey, we should incorporate this kind of stuff into our thing so you we can press more buttons and maybe have little buttons that have, like, a timer on them. So if you, or, you know, like I said, assign it to the grenade hotkey so you can hold the, uh, the grenade hotkey down or, can you know, button... And then within a certain amount of time, you can have like maybe like three seconds, you can have the literally X, Y, B, A <laughs> appear with your powers. It's it's so strange that they couldn't have done that. And it, instead of you have to go through a menu or you have to slow time by popping up your favorites menu and selecting the power that you want. It should have been more integrated and, and seamless, but it wasn't, which is just complex, you know, perplexing. You can even like, you know, you can make sure it doesn't activate whilst you're flying by having certain things within it. Like, oh, this disables. Your grenade hotkey disables when you're in a ship. You're in a different player body right now, like power armor. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> they could they could have done that. But it's just, it seems to me that they totally bodged the implement, implementation of powers. They messed it up significantly. And it just, it they seem more of a burden to me because i have to go oh i have to stop or oh, i have to you know click on oh let's duplicate myself okay great that uh, okay my my dude's there i'm gonna switch to another power now all right oh i haven't got it on my heart menu i'll go back into the menu and it just disturbs the gameplay so much and it perplexes me because you know todd howard and pete hines they always said oh yeah we got you know, so many people running through the game we've even got ais running through the game but the thing is it's like no one said to anyone hey why don't we have the grenade hotkey mixed with the powers too and have, you know, a little menu that appears, you know, and, you know, you can sign powers to that little menu. I mean, you even have separate, I mean, I'm not going to lie, the icons for each power, as cool as they look when you have a vision and stuff, are utterly, utterly useless. You can't determine from these little symbols and stuff what the power is. It should have been an icon, like a proper icon that can be like force gravity wave as your hand pointed and you see like Wi-Fi marks, clearly a wave, you know, and, uh, you know, per personal atmosphere, a person with like, you know, maybe doing the destiny shield bubble kind of, uh, you know, symbol kind of thing. Um, but, but no, it's, it's this strange symbol and it's taken me forever to get used to it. I still don't. I have to get, like, oh, the toggle, hey, what are the names, and then search for it. And it's just taken so much time up. And it's actually 
really stupid design. And, you know, these people are intelligent. They've made Skyrim, they've made, you know, Fallout 4, they've made Fallout 3 and stuff like that. They've made good games. And they've what they, you know, they play games. They look like they play games. But it's, they haven't thought about this stuff. And it's not, well, they haven't thought about it. They may have thought about it. But if they're having issues implementing it, people, you know, like pe part-time people who don't, you know, probably have full-time, you know, jobs and stuff, have managed to implement it using the script extender and stuff after, you know, you know, probably taking, it probably takes a quite a while of dedication and time, but they've probably got other things going on, but they've managed to do it. Whereas these people have their gay, you know, <laughs> full-time developers, full-time game developers, and they haven't thought about that. And it's just, to me, it seems just, really badly implemented and it does seem like a a last minute sort of hey let's throw that in there let's uh you know let's uh let's you know make it more like skyrim shall we have like these powers but again how it's implemented just floating around going through these circles no challenge at all apart from if you've got a crap backpack or if you're not wearing a backpack it's I, it, it makes me speechless, the fact that they managed to bodge this system up so much and have it... it is, again, in my previous video, I mentioned how uninspired it was and how it didn't have much thought into it. It was basically, it's again, it's just, oh, we've got this dragon, you know, we've got the shout system from Skyrim still in this game. Let's use it. Let's have it. And uh, And it doesn't work. It does not work. I mean, the powers work and stuff, but blink and ink, if you want to use more than one, you have to sacrifice your weapon cache space for uh, for this. Whereas if you just had the grenade hotkey, hold it for a few, you know, a second, you could change using the, uh, you could either throw a grenade or you could press A, A, X, Y, B, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's not hard to implement because it's been implemented by modders, you know, <laughs> so it's like it shows how uh, old your engine is if you can't do that just using the engine. And it's, it's embarrassing to see. And I bet, you know, some people in the company did say, hey, this is terribly implemented, let's change it up. But maybe there just wasn't enough time or, uh, you know, or people were like, no, it's fine how it is. And, uh, you know, always Bethesda used to be people that used to go above and beyond, you know, like add little things and stuff that was like, hey, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that works. But nowadays it's, it's lacking a lot. And I think... For this, you know, this little system to be implemented is going to be... I don't think it's possible for him to do, unfortunately. Uh, I think modders will probably figure it out. Uh, but as for Bethesda, I don't think they will. I don't think they will... Uh, hopefully for the, like, next game, the next Starfield. But then again, how clunky Starfield is, the menus and everything. The uh, I, I do think that I don't feel like I want another Starfield. And I'm kind of getting worried about the Elder Scrolls 6. Um, they need to blow it out of the park. And if they don't, uh, I don't think I'll be playing Bethesda games anymore. Which is which is a shame. Because I'm, I'm about 100 and 180 hours into Starfield. And it's... Unfortunately, apart from the main quest that I want to see through to the end. I'm feeling a little bit fatigued. I'm, uh, I'm like, oh, it's just... You know, do this, do that, and the other. I haven't done the, you know, the um, the neons, uh, what are they called? Uh, I can't remember the faction, but there's something Industries. Reugent Industries, I think. I haven't done that yet, but my character isn't kind of that kind of person. He hasn't got the sneak skills and stuff, and I've heard things like you need to sneak and stuff like that to get through it. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, it might be a little thing that I might miss out. Uh, but, yeah, I must, <laughs> this is about the powers. Um but yeah, the the implement implementation of powers isn't good, and I really think they need in you know upcoming DLCs or rewrites or you know doing a Cyberpunk uh, twenty seventy seven if they really want to change it up and make it how it should have been. Like like I said, maybe you know have a dedicated either dedicated favorites button, so you press down on the D pad and it gives you all the powers uh, you know that you've put onto uh, a favorites and there you go or you know and then uh, you can also assign it to your normal favorites menu but having maybe two you know one dedicated for items and one dedicated to actually powers if you know maybe you know uh, instead of 
button on the grenade hotkey, uh, you know, if that's too complicated, having like a timed button that re will reveal the powers, uh, or you literally just hold the grenade key and then you get your powers there on like a, a like I've said already. But still, it's uh, it's it's as for now. I don't really use the powers. I just shoot stuff really hard. <laughs> and then when I'm feeling like, oh, I'm getting all these powers, it actually becomes a chore. It's disconnecting me from the gameplay. And I really think they need to improve this. They need to improve it drastically. And uh, But I have a feeling that they won't. And if they do, yes, that's what I want. If they, if they improve it, that's great. They listened. And I think they really need to listen to customer feedback because I do think there's a massive issue with this game and I you know I've you know I've bought a lot of hours in but a lot of hours we're not gonna lie I'm running around planets uh, and that's taken a lot of my time and I wish I knew about the oxygen unlimited oxygen power um which you know makes it easier now running from A to B but at the same time vehicles would have been great and uh the fact that uh I've got to you know activate it every time but if I get an encounter I've got to switch from my oxygen to something else more useful. And it's, um, or oh, just gun them down. But at the same time, you know, you want to, you've got these powers here. Why are they not, you, you know, the unique, you know, use them, especially like, uh, you know, new game plus 10 or something. And then there's one more thing I've got to talk about is the actual, how you find temples. If you land and a scanner anomaly, you scan around, and then you're like, oh, uh, I'm, I'm just going to nip off to somewhere else, actually. I need to drop off something. That scanner anomaly disappears. It disappears, and you cannot find it again. You cannot gain that power from that temple now, because you've left. You've left, and the marker has disappeared. And it is, it is so frustrating, especially if you don't notice, and you've played another 10 hours into the game. And then you're like, oh, I've got this power, yeah. Let and then you click, um, you know, to show on your map. And it doesn't show you where the power is, where the temple is. Because that little section's been removed now. It doesn't exist anymore. And it's it's utterly perplexing. It's so stupid. And it's a major bug that hinders the main quest and the game. Like, because, you know, people, oh, I want to, of course I want to discover all 24 powers. I want to do everything. You know, I want to find all this stuff. But a literal bug in the game, a major bug, I consider it, stops you from seeing it. And it's really, really annoying. And, I'm, you know, I'm, the reason why I'm talking like this is because I'm very passionate about the game. I actually really like this game, but it could be better. And it frustrates me that it didn't deliver initially because I was very hyped for it. I thought, they're going to do it right. They've got to do it right after 76. But they didn't. <laughs> and it's kind of disappointed me and annoyed me at the same time. So, uh... Hopefully they fix it, but I'm not holding up any hope. Hopefully modders come in and be like, hey, let me fix this. Uh, but then again, it's it shouldn't be on the modders. The responsibility is on Bethesda to sort it out, to implement it better. Like, you know, Cyberpunk 2077. They've made the skill tree way better. They've implemented new things. They've made the game better, really better. And I haven't covered it on the channel because I want to niche down onto Starfield, but I'm getting a bit annoyed at Starfield. Uh, so I may have to branch out again, which is uh, frustrating. Because uh, I thought Starfield would be like, hey, this is going to take my channel off. And it has. I've you know, I've uh, gained quite a few uh, subscribers, so I'm very happy with that. But at the same time, it needs to be better. They need to implement it better. And rethink all these temples. And maybe that's going to be the DLC, that they change up how the temples work. Um, which I think would help the game significantly. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the powers and how how uh, crap they are, <laughs> uh, for a lack of a better word. And I do think they need to work on it. And uh, yeah, so please like, subscribe if you agree. Do let me know if you think they could have been implemented better, and if there could have been they just could there could have been so much more to this. There could have been you know introduced, like I said, Starborn Phantoms maybe that they're like. Uh, echoes of a person of a starborn that's been defeated and they can share powers with you and or they can uh, you know do things and stuff uh, and and stuff like that it should have been way more or their quantum essence that you seem to collect when you kill a starborn teaches you more of a power and stuff like that it's uh, 
it seems a totally wasted opportunity for something vastly unique that could have been amazingly done. And uh, I'm pretty sure modders will come in and, you know, change it up. And I hope Bethesda decide to change it up too uh, in DLCs, uh, like free DLCs, free updates, I feel like, because they really let us down, I feel. Um, going from the intricate dungeons of like Fallout and uh, Starfield, uh, not Starfield, and Skyrim, it's, uh, it's a rather big letdown. So yeah, that's that's been my 20 minute rant on uh, how they kind of messed up the powers in Starfield. Right, please like, subscribe, uh, do let me know in the comments below what you think and if you like my ideas and stuff. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Goodbye.